Welcome to another episode of Blasters News today. This is another great episode for you. And the Ghanaian players are really performing well. Dennis Odoi from Pop Professor. I tell you, this player is in hot form. And today, his performance against Atletico Madrid is a one that we really need to talk about. Showing a masterclass performance as his club side, Club Rouge, has already qualified from the UEFA Champions League group stage. Um, Kamal Sowa was also in action. He picked up a record. We'll talk about him here on this channel. Mohamed Kudus, the Ghana player who is also in form. In the past two matches, he has not really done great for his club side. I ask. Today, they lost once again to Napoli. Losing 4-2 means that um, Ayas has drank 10 goals against Napoli in two games. We are going to talk about this. What are the trending news from the Blasters camp? We have heard a lot. There is another movement going on currently in Ghana here that some two players or three from the Ghana Premier League may be going to Qatar 2022. I don't know your take on it. Let's talk about it here on this channel. I'll also be taking your messages. In the two previous videos or three so just stick and stay i have to do this for you guys if you've joined me and you are new here don't forget to subscribe just smash on the subscribe button after that you like the video if you have also subscribed already just like the video then you leave your comments in the comment section so let's begin all off from the uefa champions league performance from our black stars boys today we had um kudus mohammed who played um, close to 64 minutes for Ayas as they lost by four goals to two at the um Naples or the city of Napoli. Um, they lost four goals to two, and um, Ayas performance in the Champions League in recent times is nothing that we can actually talk about. Kudos did not do much in the game as he got a rating of 6.4, telling you that he did not really really perform as expected from Mohamed Kudos. Kudos in the game, after spending some 65 minutes in the game, he did not play any um, or he did not assist, he did not score. Then he also played one shot which was off target, no shot on target, shot block where one out of the game. He attempted one dribble of it, it wasn't successful in the game. Big chances missed were one, catches were 27 out of the 15 passes, accuracy were 88.2. Key passes were two, Grand was one were one out of three, Eriard was one were five, um, and which he won three out of them. Possession loss were six, he was fouled once, offside were three, and interceptions was one in the game. So Kudus did not do much, but uh, his whole team did not do much. The whole IRC did not really do much like that. So that's it for Kudus Mohammed. Now, let me talk about um, Dennis Odoi Professor. Yes, I call him Professor. He's fantastic. Today, his performance against Atiko was super, super, super. So his club, um, club Rouge went all the way to the Estadio Metropolitano and they picked up a vital draw which has sent them to the next stage of the competition. In fact, he had a rating of um, checking his side 7.7. .7 which happens to be the second highest after the goalkeeper Simon Minolet, who was fantastic on the day. He comes second. He played as a right back, showing super performance for his club side. And out of the 90 minutes that he played, he made five clearances in the game, one interception, four tackles, 74 touches. Accurate passes were 37, of which accuracy um, the percentage is 74%. He sent 10 long balls, okay, then five was successful. Ground was won were 5 out of 5. Edward was 1 were 4 out of 6. Possession loss were 16. He was fouled once. Shot off target were 1 in the game for Dennis Odoi. Now, in the same team, that's where we have Kamal Sowa, who could probably, he could be on the next call-up. That I'll be bringing my midfielders tomorrow. Now, he also picked up a red card because of that his rating will definitely come down. Uh, yes. Until then, he was playing well. He played 82 minutes. Then, he was rated 6.2 in the game. Shot of target was 1. No shot on goal. No shot. Um, yes, no shot on goal. Accuracy passes were um, 60% out of the 6 passes. Key passes were 1 in the game. Ground was 1 were 9 out of 4. Error doors was 2 of which none was successful. Possession loss were 9. Foul were 2. Offside was 1 in the game for Kamal. So, uh, so these 3 players perform well. And I think we need to applaud them now other news in the ghana football association and black stars and everywhere is that currently there has been some campaign i don't know so to say 
it seems they want some players to go to the World Cup, players from the Ghana Premier League. Because in a World Cup, each um, club will receive an amount of $10,000 a day for your player being at the World Cup. So probably Ghana could spend at least 12 days. That is the least we can spend because the space between the three games, that means we spend at least 12 days in Qatar, amounting to some $120,000. Wow, fantastic. So $10,000 per day. And we are hearing that the FA or some people have started pushing that maybe some two or three players should go, which I understand. A few banner is already in the Black Stars team, but maybe Kotokos goalkeeper down at Ibrahim, and I'm also hearing um, the Gla uh, Black Galazes captain. I don't know. So there, there has been a lot of memes about that. People are also talking about Kasim Adams, who plays for, um, that is um, talking of Olympics, and a whole lot. So that's also another news trending. Now, other news is that um, former GFA boss, yes, he has spoken, and I told, I've brought you an update already. Nyo Nyo Tamaklo, he says that Andrea Ayu should start the game for Ghana. We should not bench him because he has done a lot for the Black Stars of Ghana. Now, Kudus Mohamed was also awarded um, the goal of the month, of which I brought you an update. His goal against Liverpool was the one which was picked. In fact, two of his goals were picked. The one against Liverpool and the one against Rangers in the UEFA Champions League. And the one against Liverpool was picked as the goal of the month. And um, I've already brought you updates here on this channel. Together with some $75,000 as appearance fee for the players and $15,000 as bonuses or winning bonus um, was also trending today. And people are actually expressing their disappointment, saying the amount is too outrageous and a whole lot of stuff. So, have you go center back. His name is Joseph Edu. He has also played 100 games for the club and they actually celebrated him. And that is also an update on him. I'm Fred Papo, who is the former GFA vice president, also says that Black Stars will impress in Qatar 2022. That's also another news trending. Former goalkeeper Joe Carr is also um, you know, in doubt that Ghana will perform well at the World Cup. He says that he doesn't really see us doing well at the World Cup. So let me just end the Blasters news here and pick your messages that you sent to me yesterday and today. Let me just give shout out to those who gave their messages here. Yes, I'm doing this with you guys. So you have to understand me. Okay, so the first person here is Supreme Quas. Supreme, what's up? I hope SA is good. Okay, um, Dark Knight, Dark Knight, I think you are new here. This is the first time I'm seeing your comment. Thanks for being here. Ibrahim Tairu, thank you for being here. In Ketia Philip, I've seen you. Um, Echo Agri, I've seen you. Apianin, thanks for being here. Bra Kofi, testimony. Hey, Charlie, what's up? Uh, Elijah Nana Sante, what's up? I've seen you. Justin Osman, I've seen your lineup here as well. Regina Afo, Reggie, what's up? Um, Emmanuel Amani, I've seen you. And Sozie Daniel, thank you for being here. Um, Agana Richard, I've seen you. Bafukwe, I've seen you here. Um, which one? Sports News, Ghana Black Stars. Okay. Um, I've seen you as well. Alex Kwamena, I've seen you. Alex Deslo Buama, I've seen you. Deslo. Um, Baba Ojakai, okay. I've seen you. Baba Ojakai. Then, um, which one again? Echo Agri, I've seen you. Too loud earpiece. Yesterday I didn't get any more. This time around I've gotten it well. Too loud earpiece. What's up? Kadil himself. I've seen you. Bodhi Ahmed. I've seen you. Um, which one again? Kojo Deus. I've seen you as well. Andrew Abuaje. I've seen you here. Mr. Gamer. Gamer. I'll work on your guys for you. Eh? Don't worry. Um, Abdul Hanan. I've seen you. Abdullah Yakubu. I've seen you. Then which one again? Which one again? Which one again? Okay, Andrea, what you have mentioned already. Um, then, Lerica God, I've seen you. Double Brain GH, I've seen you as well. Bukari, I've seen you already. And so, Daniel. Nicholas, Edu Genfi, yes, I've seen you here. Agana, Richard, I've seen you. Mommy's Boy, Mommy's Boy, what's up? I've seen you. Foster Maunya, you are also here. Uh, which one? Inketia Philip, I've seen you. Abet Free, the youth, thank you for being here. Bema GTCL, I've seen you. Adjokati Daniel. Hey, Adjokati, what's up? Count Row, I've seen you. Count Row. Kwesi Deck, I've seen you as well. And um, Wisdom Azibu, thank you for being here, Wisdom. Elijah, I've seen you already. Joseph Day, what's up, Joseph Day? Baba Ojaka, I've seen you already. Prosper Clue, thank you. Power Ministry International, 
thank you for being here. Fatal Kantam Ebenezer. I've seen Regina, Berry Boy, and Kwesi Deck. Okay, I've mentioned already, and the other guys. So, guys, these are the messages for you. I really need to give you the shout out. Sometimes you have to understand it. So, let me know what you think about it in the comment section. All the news I brought to you on Black Stars News today. This was Kanit TV. Don't forget to like, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates here on this channel. This was Kanit TV, and of course, we shall meet later. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit on the notification bell for more.